All right guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are doing a very useful chest farming glitch. Using this glitch we can farm the highest tier chests in the game and these chests will contain legendary schematics as well as the rarest resources and the most valuable gems which we can sell to traders for thousands of gold. And you can do this really early in the game. So all you have to be is level six and you can do this glitch. That's because at level six we unlock the mounts and that's the only thing we need for this. So at level six, you can go to any level 50 dungeon and loot the chests. And here's how it works. What we're going to do first is visit a high level region. I've chosen the snowy region in the northwest for this, but you can do this anywhere. Now go to a dungeon in this region. This is the dungeon I'm showing you as an example, but again, any dungeon will do. What you want to make sure first though, is make sure it's nighttime. We're going to do this at night for one reason. When you go at night, all the pals will be asleep. And when they're asleep, it doesn't matter what level they are because they won't attack you. So we're going to head to the boss area and see if they are sleeping. Hopefully they are. Most pals sleep at night, although there are some nocturnal pals. And along the way, I like to do this little grappling hook trick here. So what you do is use your grappling hook, then press B to cancel and whip out your glider. And this gives you a serious movement boost. Okay, now we're at the boss arena, but as we can see, the boss is not asleep sleep but no worries because we can use a glitch to respawn a different boss this is not the glitch that i'm showing you in this video this is just a side glitch but it comes in handy here so all we do is head back the way we came and this will despawn the original boss And when we turn around and go back to the boss area, a new boss will have spawned. It's a really good way to spawn different high level pals until you get the one you want. Sadly, this is not sleeping either, which isn't ideal, but we can still do the chest exploit regardless. And all we do here is walk up to this glowing barrier. We can't cross it until we've defeated the boss, unless we use this little glitch here. So what we do is we get at our mount and we throw it to the other side of the barrier. Now hold X on controller to get on the mount. You will pass straight through the barrier and be able to loot the two chests on the other side, all without having to fight the boss. Usually this barrier only disappears once you've beaten the boss, but this is a glitch that helps you bypass the barrier completely. It is more helpful if the boss is sleeping for this because then there's no chance of it attacking you, but as you can see, we can still do this glitch while the boss is awake. You just have to be quick. And to be honest, if you wanted to, you could even try and fight the boss from behind the barrier. The boss won't be able to get to you and you can get some free hits in. Sometimes the boss even gets locked in the barrier and is unable to move, at which point just spam attacks until its health goes down. Repeat this glitch on any dungeon you like and you can basically loot the end dungeon chests without having to fight the high level boss at the end. So that's how to do the chest farming exploits in Power World. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and for more Power World guides, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.